Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so I just put those back in the deck. Let's see what Zodiac is doing next. Elements. I think we have water and air left. And the Knight of Wands and the Four of Cups. So let's do water. Water, 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 water. There might be an offer. There might be some boredom. We got justice, we got fortune. So got some higher power kicking in. Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Weekend energy. There you go. There you go, yo. It's in the water energy. Oh, you're in it. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Max, I just let you in. What are you doing? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Can't tell. This is a very intuitive energy. It's higher power. It's extremely spiritual. It's, it's knowing. It's funny because I was like, right from wrong as if it's justice. Oh, the Knight of Cups was reversed. I don't know if it's been reversed, so I'm putting it up there. I think I would have picked up on it if it was. The Empress. This just pulled me to my other deck that's not in front of me. My Infinity deck. So this is... It's almost like two different energies. Nine of Swords. So you got like an Empress energy that's like stressed out. This is Earth. I just did Earth. But it's pulling me to the feminine sign, which was fire that was coming in as water. Someone's letting the energy get the best of them. So be careful. I think there's like, um, feels like this, this is the energy of having, having the inner knowing. I feel like there's two people here, but I'm not positive. This was just in the earth, the same exact placement. This is the this is somebody who's stressed out. That wants to keep fighting. Not wanting to give up. Yeah, see, this is somebody who does not want to see something. They just don't. Some of you are just straight up dealing with a bitch. I'm telling you. Like, this energy keeps coming out. So I, I think it's time. I, I think what's happening this weekend is, like, someone's putting somebody in their place. Yeah, see? Barrier. Four of pence. Someone's been holding on, holding back. But it's like you you got to put the barrier in. And then you got the four of pence. The bottom of the deck, you got the tower. Yeah, see? Judgment. Damn. Three of pence. Death. Damn, 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 damn. You got to stand your ground with this energy. You've been holding back. This is somebody who seriously does, it's like, the dark and the light. It, it, it. This is actually a little even overwhelming to, to read because I can, I can pick up on the energy so well. Um, you got happiness in front of you, you got sorrow in front of you. Um, this is basically just saying that this is literally 
somebody, okay, that you got a feminine that just, I don't know, it's like, oh, pull me to Pavati again. I'm telling you, this is somebody who just does not want to see something. Someone does not want to see somebody else happy. Like, they're stressed out. They're trying to figure out uh, a new way to be strategic. Uh, we have a masculine energy, that energy in Earth that it was just, it was so clear. It was taking their power back. Like, this is somebody who let somebody else control how something else is, is going down because of other reasons, which is just does not work that way. Okay. So this is like, you get a towel over the weekend. It's, it's like, nope, not having it. Okay. So This is somebody who's relentless that is just like not going to give up. And this is, it's like you have, and it's like stressing somebody out. You have to put these barriers up. Like you waited like this. I don't, I don't know what you've been doing. Again, it's weekend energy, but the barriers need to go up. Like you have to push through this. Like this is somebody who is not allowing something to end. It's, it's tedious. It's ongoing. It's, 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 there's no resolution. Right now. And this energy is almost like, yeah, see, Eight of Cups. Again, it's reversed. Not wanting to accept drama. Ten of Cups reversed. Family life. Like, not this energy, okay? You got a strong feminine energy here that it's almost like knows something is, is destined and is not happy about a situation. Is still holding on and they're causing barriers or you... If someone else is causing barriers, you need to be the one to check that energy, okay? And put up your own damn barriers here because you have you have another feminine. The story still stands, though. She knows something's destined, and she doesn't like it. You have a feminine that gave, is, like, giving up. Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands. This is a feminine that's not having it. So, I don't know if you're dealing with a fire sign or someone extremely intuitive, someone extremely spiritual coming in as fire or they're in the fire energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is a very spiritual being you're dealing with that is giving up on a situation. Probably because there's another woman. Because this woman does not want to give up. It's like every time something goes down, it's like she just puts the blindfold back on. I don't know if someone's hoping. Yeah, so you got an energy here that's like, again, nine of swords, but this is reverse, like not stressing out. See, it's just like not stressing out, not having it in the beginning, like having clarity here, like things just didn't like work out. So you do have an energy here of somebody who is upset with how something is clearly playing out. But it's going like this, right? So to me, it's like this energy of not wanting to get over the pain, like holding on to something. Like you you all are dealing with an energy that does not want to detach. And this energy is pushy and is in things for the wrong reasons. And the tower is coming in to show you something you clearly have not seen. I don't know why you're standing. It's like you're somebody like my collective who's the spiritual ones just watching this shit go down. Tell me about the Empress. So you have an older energy. You have a younger energy. You got a more playful energy. You got an energy that's not so serious. All right. So, yeah, you got somebody who does not want to let go of a, a connection. 
but it's it's like over with the fire sign that represents an Aries could be Leo Sag doesn't matter wants like an offer but it's like it's over this is somebody who does this is somebody who does not put the effort in okay keeps holding on does not want to accept something's over has a lot of lack of shit Dealing with somebody who just won't let go. It's got to be extremely frustrating. It's like always giving you a hard time, attitude, a very controlling energy, my way or the highway. And if you haven't picked up on that, you're going to. Healthy choices, making healthier choices, love, being, okay, addiction, codependent, resistant, controlling, possessive, has a block. Like I said, you have an energy here that needs to make better choices, but is not necessarily making better choices. This is somebody who, like I said, has a block, does not want to take the blindfold off, and then when something comes into reality, it's like attitude, not wanting to see it. It's like you're dealing with somebody who has a victim mentality for sure, okay? And, and then it's like puts the blindfold right back on and then creates these barriers and they they're refusing to walk away right now how do I get this energy back they're stressed out and some of them know exactly that some something else is destined this is random she's just sitting here these are two different energies and you have a knight of cups here somebody who's going like in a new direction or wants to choose a new option And you have this other energy that's just like creating conflict. So you, that that tells me you have another energy that's that's allowing it, and it's it's like it's like you're still catering to it for your own reasons. But I'm telling you, like shit, just it, it, it's like this is like change is necessary, and this is like you consistently telling yourself like when it's the right time. You know, when things settle down, it's not going to settle down. This is energy. It's going to keep getting worse and worse and worse if you keep feeding this energy. It's just going to be fucking relentless. And then you have this chick right here, the Princess of Wands. That's just probably part of my collective here, just sitting here. Like, I like you. Something's blooming, fun, wanting to date. So I don't know if you're getting back out there, but someone likes you. I, to me, you wouldn't be caught up in all this shit, Right? So either this energy knows that that that, they're, that there's um coffee cup and love love call. This energy either knows that you're part of the picture or you it's a destined situation. All right, meeting up, conversating, feeling uplifted could be a friend. So your friend could be going through all this, and you guys could be actually opposite energy. I don't know if something went down between you guys, but love call. Someone expresses that message of love, thinking about you. Letting you know they miss you, they love you, they want to get together, yada, yada, they like you. Um, so you have two different scenarios, and this is a big problem. This energy of the high priestess is not going to allow this energy to hang around. There, there's no way, because this energy, look at self-absorbed, one-sided relationship, narcissistic energy. I, I don't even think there's a masculine here that's even picking up on this type of energy. I really don't. And if they are, they're not telling you. Because this energy right now is not giving up. They keep putting a wedge in between you and somebody else. Which is not cool. So if you're allowing it, shame on you. It's like you've been holding on for too long. There's that tower, sudden change. It's like, yeah, yeah, you're, you're hanging on for too long. Tower's coming in. That's it. Tower. Here we go. It's going to be a little bit of a storm. That is for sure. This energy won't let go. So you probably have somebody like taking their power back. All right. And that's like moving forward. And then you have this other, this other energy that's like not having it. Doesn't want to see you happy. It's pissed off about how the way something's going. Yeah, see, three of pens not working together, not, you know, stabbed in the back, just feels like I'm the victim, you know, but it's like, this is somebody who puts zero fucks into anything. There's no effort here on this end. 
It's just somebody holding on for all the wrong reasons. Maybe you went to, back to somebody from your past. The Six of Cups is somebody from your past coming back around. And there could be a reconciliation or it's, it's guided. It's destined. You know, and this energy might be fully aware of it. Yeah, see, so causing conflict between the high priestess and somebody else. It's like the communication even shut down. Okay, so it's like this energy is, is causing a major wedge. And somebody needs to take control of this energy. And if they do not, you're screwed. You got two choices here. You can stay in a situation where there's unconditional love. Well, you can stay in a situation where there's there's no love. Okay, there's not the love that you think there is. This is a one-sided situation for all the wrong reasons. You can stay here and not grow and not evolve and not get anywhere. You know, maybe you're comfy. Or you can go into a situation where there's, you know, it's, it's soul, soulmate energy. Somebody who uplifts you. You really like them. You love them. Like the way you guys express, you know. Um, so you definitely have two decisions here. And if you go and watch Earth, it was so clear. You had a masculine that was totally taking their power back. Because someone has been in control. And I think the other one was kind of letting them have a little control for the wrong reasons. Like this contract's up, it's over. You had a karmic contract, it's over, it's been over. Tower's coming in because it's like enough's enough. So water, you're delivering a message this weekend or vice versa. You know, it talks about emotions and feelings. There's, you know, there's something coming your way. And then you have another one that's like, this will linger. This this is someone who is not happy about a situation. Someone who does not want to see you happy. Somebody that does not want to see you going in, an, in a new direction. That This is, like, I don't know if you've been avoiding this energy You've been avoiding conflicts. You've been avoiding moving forward because you know that this energy will dismiss you or do this. Well, oh, well, it's not someone who's supposed to be in your life. If you have children with them or a boss, it doesn't matter. It's unhealthy. It's wrong. Don't let somebody else make choices for you. I mean, you're de literally dealing with somebody who is is trying to tell you how things should work out. And, and like giving like little hints and little like just someone who's talking a lot of drama and is, you know, wants to make sure that they don't lose their place and their place is gone. They, they're putting effort into nothing. But at the same time, not wanting to see something. Every time they see it, they put the blindfold back on. Well, the barrier it looks like the barrier is coming down. Someone's putting the barrier, it looks to me like someone's putting the barrier up. And that's amazing and overdue. Yeah, the hermit. Go watch uh, Earth. This is the masculine building up that confidence, that power, taking their power back in a situation because this energy has had power over another energy and not in a way where it's like controlling it, it's just like this is somebody who had the upper hand and I don't it's like somebody is really going within again go watch uh earth it was so damn clear all right this energy is now putting the barrier up making a decision you know, no longer trying to just make someone content because it, it's like this energy is figuring out no matter how this goes, it's, it's, it's a lose-lose and this other energy needs to accept it. So it, it's like this energy will just argue with you and argue with you. And I'm telling you, these arguments are going to get worse and worse and worse and worse until you have a masculine here that steps in, puts the barriers where they belong and moves the fuck on. It's that simple. Is a spiritual lesson here. This is energy of like somebody else moved on before somebody else. Because if this other energy moved on first, it'd be harder on the other energy. And the other energy is like they moved on first, so it's harder on the other energy. Like you never know how it's going to go, right? But it probably went down the way it was supposed to go down. Whoever, this is like a situation, whoever leaves first, because they want something better and they want this, but 
didn't do it the right way and did it for all the wrong reasons and was playing games and yada yada, I guarantee the other person found love or figured out a spiritual lesson way before this energy did. See what I'm saying? It's like, and then he found something that he loves and makes him happy and brings him solidarity and reciprocity and, and all those other things that he was looking for in the other person that he didn't get, right? So this is a spiritual lesson. Like I said, they're figuring it out. Now, this one's unhappy that someone else figured it out before them because they. this is a cocky energy where it's like, I'm doing what's best for me. I deserve this. I deserve that. But no, you don't. No, you don't actually, because the way you went about it was full of games and it was karma. You thought you had the upper hands and bam, you don't. This is the end of you having the upper hand. It's about time. Everything plays out when it's supposed to play out. I'm more happy there's a masculine energy here that's picking up on a lesson. And you're doing what's right for you. You're putting up the barriers. And, and not because of somebody else. Because you're in a very unhealthy situation. You've been letting this play out for other reasons. And it's it's not it's not working. This is you wanted to control something and have it go in your way for a certain reason. And, and life does not work that way. Just move forward. If you are doing the right thing karmically and you're doing what's best for you and your damn soul, you better believe that the universe has your back. You don't got to worry about the future. How something plays out. Money, contracts. No. They got your back. Okay? So, again, this energy is going to linger. So, just do what you can do. <sighs> Slowly and surely to get to where you need to be. Don't worry about everybody else. Like, really, seriously. Like, this is about you. Not her. Not her. Or him or him or him. Like, you. Where your happiness lies. Somebody else just doesn't want to see you happy. Because you figured something out before them. You figured out how to be happy without somebody. And they don't like it. It's, there's jealousy. It, it's just, it is what it is. But there's so much more than that. This is you really figuring out the higher reason, the purpose, the the enlightening, the awakening. This is like really figuring it out. A spiritual lesson, a life lesson, however you want to label it. This is you figuring it out. And that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. This is extremely empowering. So congratulations for whomever is taking their power back here. And you will deal with the shit show. Because this is somebody who does not want to let go. So just deal with it. Get it done with. Don't cater to this person. Don't think certain things have to go in a certain way. Don't 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 be that person where you're not telling somebody certain stuff because you think it's going to be harder when it, it all pans out. That's the wrong way. It might seem like the right way and the practical way, but it's the wrong way. This is a life lesson. This is a spiritual lesson. There, there's no practical route to this. This is all about your soul and doing what's best for you. And trust me, nothing that isn't meant to be taken will be taken from you. I promise you that. See you guys on Patreon. Bye, guys.